is Celine de Lesbia and I am a South African au pair living in America. I have been an au pair in America for mm, 15 months. <laughs> I was going to do a really cool day in the life of an au pair video but I'm not allowed to show my kids on camera and, and social media and it was kind of awkward just having to see my face only while I was doing the errands and running um, while doing trips with the kids. A-T-O-M-1 I'm vlogging. Hi. You can't be in it. Yes, you <laughs> But say hi. It's okay. Hi. <laughs> Bye! Seeing that I've been an au pair for 15 months, I decided to share some 5 things that I think everyone who's interested in becoming an au pair should know. So, because I'm an au pair in America, a lot of these are from like an American au pair, um, an, an au pair in America perspective, but I think they apply to anyone who wants to au pair anywhere in the world. First and foremost, get yourself a good agent. So, um, a lot of au pairs come to their respective countries through agencies and there are many agencies that are available but I came to America through Carla's Au Pairs and I met Carla personally at a work abroad expo in 2016 and I was really really interested in becoming an au pair in America and she just told me go for it you can do it and she would help me through the whole process and she really did you know like um, I had a lot of questions and I was um, nervous about a lot of things and my family was nervous about a lot of things and she was able her and her team were able to answer all my questions not only in detail but also very efficiently so it didn't take forever to get a response on email or even on Facebook you know I knew the answers almost immediately and you know she walked us through walked me through the whole entire process the whole entire application process everything that I needed to do was broken down and it was made simple and easy and you know before I knew it I found myself with a family and moving to America within a month of finding a family obviously it varies for every single person of how long it takes to match with the family and how long it takes to actually leave the country and go live with your family but I definitely can say that I would recommend Carlos or pairs to anyone who wants to become an au pair number two travel a lot so <laughs> number one mistake I made when I arrived in America was that obviously you have culture shock and then you have homesickness and I just stay cooped up in my um, room a lot and I was just scared of going out and meeting new people and you know I was very homesick I wish I'd taken advantage of just the many different cities that are around in my state you know if you can have and you have access full-time access to the family vehicle drive around go to the next town take pictures there's so much going on then just you don't have to travel across state I mean America is huge Oklahoma alone has over 30 national parks and I've only been to two, <laughs> three. So, you know, I wish I'd taken more advantage of just seeing all that is my state has to offer. And I think that I would advise any au pair to travel a lot within their state and obviously travel outside of your state. There are au pair classes that are available specifically for au pairs for weekends to get your credits that you need for your, for your visa. And I was able to go to Florida um, and travel through Florida as well and also on my vacation I got to go to New Orleans and I really enjoyed that because I've always wanted to go to New Orleans and I've been blessed to have a family that also enjoys to travel so I've been to a lot of other states with them. Number three, now this one is for specifically people who are taking care of older kids. Um, a lot of like information for au pairs is mostly uh, geared towards um, taking care of younger kids and that's what a lot of families want is they want an au pair because they have a, uh, younger kids but I have older kids <laughs> I mean my youngest one is eight years old and they're pretty much self-sufficient and they take care of themselves you know but if you're taking care of older kids my advice is to try to bond with them and you know these people are gonna be your, kind of your friends for the next 12 months or if you decide to extend 24 months so try to bond with them hang out with them a lot you know get to know them individually get to know their personalities be a or be, be a normal sister 
to them and they look up to you a lot I've noticed with the kids that I take care of that they mimic a lot of things that I do and have picked up a lot of South African mannerisms and you know things that I do because they look at me as like their older sister so also understand that at some times sometimes you're just gonna be a glorified chauffeur and <laughs> you have to be okay with that you know but sometimes they just want to hang out with their friends and you're just gonna sit at home waiting for them to text you to say can you pick me up <laughs> from their play date which is totally okay you know I think Tip number four is definitely for my weight conscious sisters, stay away from the fountain drinks. Seriously, don't do it. The United States of America is literally like the snack capital. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to be doing a lot of snacks, but if you're someone who's a little bit more weight conscious, stay away from the free fountain drinks because <laughs> those are amazing. Um, yeah, we don't have anything like that in South Africa where you can go and just refill your drink over and over again or the waiter comes and they refill your drink over and over again and they have this crazy thing called Big Gulfs which is like a big cup of soda and you can just jar down that the whole day um, I wouldn't advise that, you know, I mean it's great for like the first couple of months because you're like trying new things but honestly you need to just step away from the fountain drinks <laughs> And my fifth and final tip is, it's a job, not a paid vacation. <laughs> um, a lot of au pairs have this impression that they're going to show up at this amazing house in America and they're just going to live with this rich family and, you know, they're going to travel and live the good life because, you know, they don't pay rent and they get paid every week and it's going to be just this fancy... I mean, yeah, maybe, but not really. This is a job, you know, you have to work up, wake up in the morning. You have a certain amount of hours that you have to work every single day. And you're responsible for other people's kids. So you have to take it seriously. You have to have a real like passion and actually like the kids that you're working with and you're taking care of because this is a job. And it's all great if the family wants to travel with you. But even when they're on vacation, you're technically still on the job. So don't forget that. But don't take it too seriously that now you don't have fun or you're not enjoying what you do, what you're doing. It's important to enjoy what you do. And um and to just have fun, you know, it's going to be a great year um, and you're going to make so many new friends and so many memories. And yeah, just remember that this is a job and you are getting paid to do your job, but also have fun. You know, let loose on the weekends or after work. <laughs> so those are the tips I decided to share with you guys about becoming an au pair. I hope that if you're thinking about becoming an au pair, that you'll just take the plunge and you'll do it. I mean, over a year ago, I was really nervous about it. I've never been outside of the country before. I've never traveled alone. But I came to America on my own. I've traveled to two states on my own I was in New Orleans alone you know I didn't have any friends but I had the time of my life because I just wanted to do something out of, out of the box and something that would challenge me and I've grown so much I've learned so much living in a foreign country and experiencing a completely different culture you know I've made such a great bond with not just my host kids but my host parents as well you know they feel like my second parents so it's really really such an awesome and wonderful experience and I'm so grateful for Carla who gave me a little bit of a nudge to actually do it and all my friends and family who were supportive of me in making this decision. So I hope you decide to do it and have an awesome yeah it's an okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.